Historically, agriculture has been a principal activity of family-owned farms. This began to change at the beginning of the 20th century when technological innovations significantly changed agricultural practices. Four key innovations transformed agricultural production in the 20th and early 21st centuries. The internal combustion engine, for tractors, combines, and things like that, the process of producing nitrogen fertilizer from the air, the introduction of hybrid corn and the focus on crop genetics, and the development and use of farm chemicals. These transformations resulted in larger quantities of relatively inexpensive food, which became the norm as more food made its way to, ur to urban areas. Perhaps the single most important symbol of overabundance in the United States, and then later in other parts of the world, is the post-war Green Revolution. Today we are faced with the potential of world food shortages in the coming decades. At the turn of the 21st century, the activities of global, monopolistic agricultural corporations is an existential threat to societies and the future of the planet. Issues such as climate change, soil degradation and conservation, the destruction of the environment, organic versus conventional farming, agroforestry, antibiotic use in meat production, and other important topics emphasize the requirement for immediate transformational change. The Secretary General of the United Nations, for example, declared that if we are to succeed, the new agenda cannot remain the exclusive domain of institutions and governments. It must be embraced by people. In the development context, local communities are becoming the focus of change. In the UN Global Development Agenda, the contributions of local communities who have traditionally been regarded as passive recipients of development aid must now be meaningfully integrated into global processes of development. Community-led development is a term used by the European Commission to describe an approach that turns traditional top-down development policy on its head. Under community-led development, local people design and implement a development strategy. The strategy builds on the community's social, environmental, and economic strengths or assets. A major element in local development is the requirement to build trust and alliances in the community. This is where local economic or business development interfaces with Baha'i neighborhood activities. Communities decide what they want to change. They consult to discuss the main concerns, hidden agendas, and historical resentments that lie deep in many communities. Individual and group consultation, a central Baha'i concept, can help to clarify long-term goals as well as activities that can achieve quick wins and build support. Consultation can also help to clarify the level of commitment to create formal structures, such as a cooperative business. Examples of community-led and cooperative-like activities are appearing throughout the Baha'i world in response to the challenges today. For example, the Baha'i-inspired Mona Foundation follows the guideline that development needs to happen and is only sustainable at the local level. Each community will need to think about their role in contributing to social good, create small initiatives to that end, and then grow organically as they build capacity to lead ever more complex initiatives proportionate to their ability to sustain it. Mona's role is that of partnership with these local organizations to support them in their efforts. Many of these initiatives meet all the criteria. Desire at the local level to take on social action, capacity to start it, organically building further capacity to grow to sustain these efforts, collaboration with like-minded organizations and others. Mona's role is to provide financial resources or any other resources they may need to help them in their efforts. The ownership and leadership of the projects, however, rest squarely with the local community. Mona's contribution is to support them in areas they request 
and help them in building capacity to form a countable partnership with other like-minded organizations like MONA to contribute to social discourse on related areas of focus. <laughs>